What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another poppin' video and today I'm actually doing something very different. Last night um, I was just uh, I was figuring out what I wanted to do because today is my day off of, of work and uh, I decided to go through and scroll on some Google Maps and uh, today I'm going to be attempting my first ever Google Maps style fishing challenge or whatever. Last night I found four new fishing spots. Um, I've never fished any of these places before. Some of them, there's a couple that are like neighborhood ponds or whatever, like ponds in or near neighborhoods. Um, then there's another one that's like on a golf course or something. But um, other than that, I've got uh, I've got all the ponds right here. And uh, I'm just gonna, I've got them named and I've got four spots and uh, I'm gonna hit up the spots, see if I can catch any fish. I've got a, uh, a chatterbait and a bandito bug tied on currently right now. And uh, we're just gonna go see if we can catch some fish. Like I said, I've never fished any of these places and who knows, I could catch, I could catch some big fish today. if that have big fish in them. So, um, I don't know, I might catch fish in this video, I might not, but I'm gonna bring you guys along, and uh, I'm hoping that I am I can catch some fish and this will be a good video. But, and that, I'm gonna get the directions to spot number one, and uh, I will catch you guys there. Alrighty guys, so spot number one is, uh, is not gonna work. I don't know if you guys can see that sign right there. Oh yeah, you guys can. Um, but uh, that sign is not gonna work today. Um, there's actually people mowing it right now, um, back back behind me, and there's people walking around. And you could obviously see my car um, parked, and then me fishing and and everything. And it is very very um, grassy. There is a ton of grass and moss on top. Like the entire pond is covered in that stuff. Um, so I would really be, I'd have to go tie on a frog right now and try to fish. There's a little dock right there um, and that kind of thing. But um, so I'm going to, I'm going to log in and uh, see what we got for spot number two. Spot number two, I want to say is just right down the road. Yeah, it's, it's like, it says 2.3 miles away, eight minute drive. So I guess I will see you guys in another eight minutes and shout out to my mom for making these uh, chocolate chip muffins. They are, uh, they're pretty scrumptious for uh, today's fishing adventure. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys at spot number two. All righty guys, so I just got to, uh, to spot number two and I actually uh, just kind of pulled up and, and parked on the side to, uh, to kind of walk up to the pond and there's actually a sign that says catch and, catch and release only or something like that on a fence. Um, I just have to get figure out how to get over this little creek and then I have to figure out how to get in the gate as well. Um, but other than that, it looks, it says there's a sign that even says catch and release only. So I'm gonna obviously catch and release only today. I just gotta figure out how to get in the pond, and uh, yeah, but I'm gonna leave the big camera in here. Um, I'm gonna take the GoPro, obviously, and uh, yeah, so I'll probably be starting off with a chatterbait, just because it's a, a moving bait, um, and uh, I've got a lot of confidence in that. So, um, other than that, I'll catch you guys over at the pond in like two minutes. Hey, stop me, yeah. Okay, we did it. We are in. All right, that's the first goal of the day. And I'm going to set this rod right up over here. I'm gonna get to fishing. How you doing, sir? What are you doing inside there? Inside here? Well, yeah, you can't get 
in there and fish? It, there is a sign that said catch and release only. It said you can't get in there. Oh, you can't get in here? Oh, hell no. They can't nobody jump the fence and go fish. <laughs> Come on, you do that. Well, how, are, how are you supposed to get you in and catch in? a fish? No, sir. See you later. All righty. Why would you think you had any right to fish here anyway if you don't live here? I just stopped him by. Oh, you know better. Don't come by. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that, uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to get kicked out of a pond. <laughs> oh, man, that guy did not want me here. <laughs> he was very unhappy. At least he didn't call the cops or anything, but there is a sign that says, Fishing, Catch and Release Only. Uh, how are you supposed to catch the fish? How are you supposed to catch the fish right here if it says, if, if the dude just kicked you out? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, well. Uh, that is, that's like the first time for me, like, actually really getting kicked out, I guess you could say. But figure out a solid spot to hop back across this creek. And I guess we will go on to spot number three. It's been a eventful day. Let's go ahead and a boogie on out. Just got kicked out. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so I just got to spot number three and I'm actually pretty excited um, because this one is like on a, on a park. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but it's kind of like there's a park right here and there's actually a trail that goes all the way around the pond um, and it looks like there's a dock that kind of like stretches all the way across the pond um, and uh, that you can fish off of. Um, I'm at the uh, park right now um, and it looks like you have to kind of walk back in on the trail so I'm gonna put this camera up and uh and get to walk and get get some stuff get my stuff and uh, i'm gonna get to walk in on the trail and uh, there's actually quite a few people out here so it's pretty safe obviously um and uh hopefully we can catch some fish i'm hoping that we can and uh get, get a fish or two in this video at least i'd hope um rather than me just doing a whole bunch of these talking segments but um other than that i'm gonna get my stuff and uh hit the trails and try to hit the pond Alrighty guys, it actually looks fairly promising. Yeah, there is a big old dock over there that stretches all the way out. And uh, I just got here. It looks, it looks promising. I'm sure this is like a community spot, so I'm not sure how many fish are in here. Um, it does say there's a little sign that has all the species, and it does say bass are catch and release only. So... Maybe that will improve our chances on catching a fish, but I'm sure this spot also gets gets hit with some uh, some good fishing. So, alrighty, guys. Well, uh, pond number three was, I would say and a, a goal or like an accomplishment maybe maybe it wasn't too successful as in fish catching but i i saw a lot i walked the entire pond um and uh yeah i, I saw a lot of bass um a lot of them mainly all of them that i saw were around nine to ten inch range um, i did have one bite on a guggenbait bandito bug so that was promising um, other than that, I'm going to come back here with a dedicated, like, crankbait rod next time because, um, this crankbait is on braid and it's a fairly clear, uh, pond 
and uh, I think the fish were just a little skittish with the braid today so I'm going to bring back a dedicated uh, crankbait rod next time with some uh, fluorocarbon on that um, and maybe like a, a jig rod or something like that but other than that I'm going to head back to the car and uh, we're going to take a look at spot number four Alrighty, fellas, we are now on our way to, actually we're not on our way because vlogging and uh, driving would not be safe um, unless I had the camera mounted, but other way, anyways, I am, uh, I am going to head to spot number four, it says we are 19 minutes away right there, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna head there, 10 miles, 10 miles away, 19 minute drive. I'm gonna head there and uh, I'm gonna see, I believe this last one is, I wanna say it's on like a golf course or something. Yes, it is. This is a golf course one. So I'm hoping we can catch some fish. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna park, um, but I'm gonna try to get on some fish at this last pond and show you guys a fish in this video. But other than that, Stay tuned. Let's see if the pond, the golf course pond, will produce some fish. Oh, we got one, guys. We got a fish. We got our first fish of the day. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's a decent one. Oh, yes, guys. Oh, heck, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, heck, yeah. Heck, yeah. Oh, yes. That's a solid, like, two-pounder. Wow. I bet that fish right there has never been caught before. And look how he ate that chatterbait. Oh, my. That is fish number one badoong I don't know what I was trying to do there by badoong but boom let's freaking go right in the top of the mouth that's a solid solid fish just have to avoid some of the groundskeeper people right now but other than that that is freaking solid all right you guys got a couple self timer picks i'm gonna toss this guy i've actually got to kind of toss this guy out a little bit just because it's really shallow right here but all right there we go yes that's the first fish right along here on the uh the chatterbait and actually that was the first fish i had ever caught in on the uh using the uh, Shimano SLX, I believe. Yes, SLX. I picked this up uh, about a week or so ago, week and a half ago, and uh, I've only been fishing with it one other time at another golf course, but uh, I'm, I've got it on kind of my designated chatterbait rod right now, and uh, that is the first fish. It was also on a chatterbait, um, and the trailer was one of the new Guggenbait uh, swimbait deals. A saucy swimmer or something like that but uh that is the gear it's a the rod is a uh, seven foot one inch medium heavy so that is mega sweet i'm sure there's some more roaming around in here so let me get get back at it oh we got one guys oh yes oh heck yeah there we go we got fish number two. There we go. That was so cool too. I saw a group of them all come up and uh, start swimming towards my uh, chatterbait. And this guy wanted it, so he got it first. But there we go. Fooled fish number two on the chatterbait. It's the exact same chatterbait I was using as before. Nice, chunky little guy. We're going to get him back in the water. There we go. Golf course pond number two. Uh, this is spot number four, and uh, I'm seeing a uh, a cart, a golfing cart with some golfers on it. So I'm trying to stay over here by some woods. Um, that way, whenever they come, I can just kind of hide or tuck back in the woods, and they won't they won't have to worry about hitting me or anything. But uh, always nice if you're gonna if you're gonna go to a golf course and try to fish, just try to. Be polite and be nice. 
they're there to have a good time they don't want to give you a whole bunch of junk for fishing or whatever they just if they ask you to leave they ask you to leave you know but try to be nice and polite I just always try to stay stay back stay away let them do the thing on that I can't really see them I think they're over a hill right now so I'm gonna get my line back in the water try to catch some fish oh wow fellas let me tell you it is a hot one out there so um, I am here just got back to my car it's very hot outside and uh, yeah I just wanted to wrap today's video up let me fix my microphone there we go I just wanted to wrap today's video up I'm going to uh, to head out and I'm gonna probably go get a bowl of cereal or something like that download all this video stuff and uh, yeah just go on with my day but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, I finally caught some fish at my fourth spot my first two spots were did not go well <laughs> um, and then my third spot I will definitely go be going back there um, and I'll be making a video there as well um, next time I go there I'm gonna bring some crankbaits and maybe like some spinner baits or something like that some more like clear water tactics um, I also might take some micro lures because all, a lot of the bass that I saw were like around the 9 to 10 inch range which couldn't bite my chatterbait and couldn't bite my uh, bandito bug but they could bite like a little finesse worm or something like that shaky head or something something like that ned rig or whatever but so I might take take that stuff down there um, but uh, yeah other than that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as always thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace guys.